it's me again, Mrs. Ladybug Duck. Welcome. So nice to see you again. Have some tea? Oh, that's nice. I like a little bit of honey with my tea. Do you know where honey comes from? Bees make it. Bees make honey. Bees like my friend Muggsy. Let's go find him. Hi, Muggsy. Hi, Mrs. Ladybug Dot. And hello to you, YouTube viewer. Muggsy, what kind of bee are you? I'm a honeybee. That's great, Muggsy. And you can tell my friend a little bit about honeybees. Oh, sure. Honeybees live together as colonies in hives. There are worker bees who make honey and male drones who mate with the queen. Bees are very important because we pollinate flowers and other plants while they gather the nectar that they use to make honey. Thanks, Muggsy. Without honey bees, we would not only not have honey, we would not have many, many other things as well. A lot of fruit would not exist at all. The rest would be ugly and not tasty. Blueberries and cherries are 90% dependent on honey bee pollination. Almonds depend entirely on being pollinated by honey bees. Other crops that depend at least partially on bee pollination are alfalfa, apples, asparagus, beans and beets, blackberries, Brussels sprouts, buckwheat, cabbage, cantaloupe, cauliflower, celery, chestnuts, chives, clover, cranberries, cucumbers, currants, eggplant, flax, garlic, gooseberries, grapes, horseradish, kale, lettuce, mustard, onions, parsley, peaches, pears, plums, pumpkins, radishes, raspberries, rhubarb, squash, strawberries, sunflowers, sweet potatoes, turnip, and watermelon. You see, you see, Bees do more than just sting you. They help make a lot of the food that everyone eats. So be thankful for the bees, especially honey bees. Muggsy. Without honeybees, we would not only have honey for. We would not only not have honey. You said, no, you have to know, you have to read it right. Okay. 